What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the ep- another episode of Bubble Tea Gaming. So sorry for the five seconds delay. I forget that my personal mic was muted because I record down the FDH voice for during UC, and I forgot that I mute myself. So I probably had to say hey 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 five times before I caught on. Okay, so today is uh close to the end of the Lunar New Year. One more day and be the last day of Chinese New Year, and uh I'm here to start the video. So uh, today's video will be a very unique topic. So I've been seeing uh, a lot of people uh, use this formation. So okay, uh, okay, that's oh shit, can't do a lot, huh? Okay, okay. Uh, let's clear this. I don't know. I'm not. I'm gonna pick a one that I usually use. Uh, wait, uh, uh, I can click this one here. This one's fine. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of people uh, do this when they get rallied, uh, they will use this as their default uh, position. So basically, they use the three uh, stats donkey, which is basically uh, Let's Enzo Drake. So this is not for both. Then they'll leverage Jamie, and then they either have a busted five commander like this, or they just put a total attack commander, it can be either Kevin. Or it can be any, if you're a medium spender, if you're like sort of medium spender, you have one uh, F5, it will be Jon Snow, Cersei, or for me, instead will be Sandor, and they're actually tanking like this. So today's video will be actually discussing this formation, whether it's actually worthwhile. So, uh, if you're looking at this, uh, let's see, uh, uh, how do I press express this? Uh, let's see whether I can do something about it. Okay, yep, so here it's fine, you can see. Okay, so you're basically uh if you're if you're going in so the reason the the logic behind this formation formation is uh three healers and Jamie and one total attack commander. Uh, I've seen mad people use it, I've seen BDR people use it, and it's like, uh, I'm here to like give my thoughts on the situation. So the thing with this formation, if you go in, you're losing out uh, uh, on two stats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For example, if you're using this, you're, using, you're giving up 8 dead stats. Because like, A, you're not going to be able to use en- uh, Enzo... Enzo's calf health, calf defense, Drake spear health, spear defense, Jamie spear health, spear spear defense, and Annie's uh, spear health. So you're giving about seven to eight. I can't remember Annie's last one whether it's spear health or total defense. Okay, so if you're using him, you're using eight that slots, and that's horrible. But if you're using spear, you're giving up one, two, three, four, uh, about four dead slots. Cause you're giving up let's uh inf defense ins health, uh Enzo's calf defense calf health, and if you're going calf, you're basically much in the same position as uh infantry. You're giving up eight dead s- slots. So if you don't know what I'm talking about the slots, uh you you need to watch my other videos. But essentially, if your commanders in attacking or defending, you must fully utilize. So when you're defending, you're automatically defending with three lines. Your your castle is gonna have inf, calf, and a spear. And the way I like to play this game is I like to maximize my commanders. So even though you give like a nice level four, but with total attack, you're still giving up a lot of stats. Which for me, I will only play this line uh, with spear front. If you have a buster five commander to replace any, it's a lot better because essentially you're giving up six slots. Uh, uh, six slots for inf and six slots for calf run. So the people who are doing this, if they are medium spender, is by default spear front, so they don't give up too much dead stats. Okay, does this work for attacking? No, it only works for defending. Cause if you're attacking, unless your account is way stronger, you're not gonna attack with three lines. Your your front line is gonna deplete so fast, and you're gonna get capped. So what's the logic? So now that a lot of people know that you're giving up a lot of dead slots and you're basically uh, only able to spear to fully utilize the uh, stats benefits of this line, but why do people do it? So the logic is, if you get if your lets uh, Enzo and Drake all hail, you're leveraging Jamie's uh, weakness attack. 
So the moment if you heal your, your second line, third line, or fourth line, Jamie will do another weakness. If you get a lot of trigger, the weakness attack stacks that much. But there's a big problem here. Unless you're getting rallied by max account with Cersei, Blue Dragon, with Devastate, your second and third line is not going to get depleted so much when uh, when the troops attack you. So if you don't have troops to heal, you don't have troops to prop weakness. So this line essentially saying that if you get rallied by a max account and Cersei managed to hit the third, first, second, third and the blue dragon with Devastate managed to hit the blue, second, third and you have some dead slots to heal using this formation it can like hyper trigger Jamie's uh, weakness attack causing all your three lines to not be able to miss which is uh, actually very good so this slot would I recommend it for tanking max max account yes but essentially you must be spear front because if any other formation you're giving up really a lot of stats so it so that if I know a person who is using this, it's only by default gonna be spear. If you have a busted five commander, you can maybe say that you can go in for Kev and you can leverage the skill. Then it will be acceptable. But the one thing bad about this formation, like in theory, it all works out. Like if you have missed stats and stuff, you cannot use this formation versus a player with a strong account without Cersei or Blue Dragon because you're giving up a lot of level 4 synergy so let's say if I have like no damage I'm uh, uh, my account is a perfect example I don't have either of those things I don't use Cersei I don't have a Devastate when I hit you you're giving up your Enzo level let's say your spear front you're giving up your Enzo's level 4 you're giving up your Let's Cats level 4 your Drake, your Drake and your Jamie is the only thing gonna be proccing with each other. Essentially, you are giving up two level four slots plus four dead stats. That's in a formation when you're fighting a person without a max account. But if you're fighting someone that with Cersei and Blue Dragon and Devastate, and all your three lines are healing and proccing Jamie, causing all your three lines not to miss, I think this formation is actually worth it and very strong but if you're facing someone like me with none of those things see the exact uh, thing I'm talking about dude my account is same as his and it's like it's like okay like he has uh, I have Sandor he have uh, Jon Snow I hit him I'm not nowhere near a max account but due to the fact that I don't have any Cersei or Blue Dragon, his uh, Enzo and uh, Let's is not proccing, so he's wasting a lot of synergy. His weakness doesn't do shit, cause like my troops already don't miss. But if I had Cersei or Blue Dragon here, I guarantee you this formation would be a lot more superior. Okay, so... The purpose of this video was just to explain that uh, even though you see those formation, it only works for a certain type of thing. If you're taking a max max account rally or attack or solos, if you have if they have Cersei and like a uh, blue dragon, you can use that formation and the theory works out in my mind. But the downside is you you can only be spear front or if you're in front prepared or calf run be prepared to lose out a lot of stats and you may not win the battle solely based on that but since everyone's going bold i'm pretty sure you can put your spear in front and it'll be all right but if you're facing someone without um, a cersei or blue dragon where you have no way to activate to heal your second and third line that will trigger jamie weakness your commander choice on that war becomes significantly weaker okay so this is a uh, bubble tease i hope this is a much more advanced topic i hope you guys know that and see uh, and i just want to give my two cents i think it's very strong versus max account but if you're pairing up with someone which cannot damage your second and third line i think you should go with the default commander war variant whereby you focus on your front this thing i see it works but it forces you to be spear 
and the more people know that uh, your sphere they just send food into the counter or the bowls will uh, shit on you okay so this is bubble tea thank you for watching i hope you learned something and prob if you want to try out this uh, formation uh, don't try it out on accounts without blue dragon or Cersei. but if there are accounts with blue dragon or Cersei that are able to damage your second and third line i think this formation is very strong all right this is bubble tea signing off